Well, hello there. So, I thought I'd make a video of something that I found quite amusing um, about my, well, I guess all um, Sun Ultra Enterprise uh, 250s. Um, so, I was cleaning uh, the motherboard of my uh, particular Enterprise 250 uh, because, well, um, it failed after, well, not the motherboard, the system uh, failed for uh, reasons that uh, I'm not going to mention in this video. Uh, after almost three years of service, um, I have a video on this machine. I'll put the link in the description probably, uh, where you can see an overview of the machine. Uh, I didn't power it on at the time because I didn't even have memory, but now as you can see I have memory. I At one point I had the full 2 gigabytes, but um, a couple of sticks uh, failed, so I had to take that bank out. So, yeah, I uh, took uh, I took the thing apart pretty much. Um, because, well, it had some downtime already because it failed. Uh, so I took the opportunity to just tear the thing down and clean it up and all that. And I was looking at the motherboard, you know, admiring all the engineering in this. Ignore this huge primary lithium battery that's uh, what's powering the NVRAM right now. Uh, and look at these huge connectors and you know everything from the 16 memory slots to all of these uh, bus controller ICs to you know all that stuff because it, it's an interesting machine you know Sun machines are always even if it's not full on Sun like with S bus and all that it has PCI but thing is I noticed something um, so these are the UPA slots uh, for the CPUs and right under those, I remove the CPU cage, which is right there, uh, to, well, to make some modifications, I want to make it quieter, so I'm going to install some fans in it. But right under the CPU slots, I noticed this. What is that? If my camera could focus, that says Motorola on it. And it says XPC823 whatever. Well, wait a second, XPC, what is that? That's a PowerPC CPU. It's actually a PowerPC chip here in my Spark system. And if you look even closer, you can see that it has a PowerPC CPU, or microcontroller rather. It has some flash right here, it has an ethernet controller and some memory. So it turns out this is an entire system within the system. And what this is, I um, I figured it out later, is the SSP. This is the system service processor. So this is an entire self-contained PowerPC system that actually runs an ethernet connection and a serial connection over this connector right here which goes to a riser card here which has ethernet and serial it has the transceivers right there uh, so you can manage the system so this is connected via serial port to the rest of the system so you can do remote management with the system completely off so this is running the system is off and conveniently um, I, and you know through the magic of uh, having uh, things prepared in advance I also have the RSC right here so this one is called the SSP system service processor because it's what Sun was using at the time uh, the terminology that they were using at the time this is an RSC remote system uh, console I believe uh, this is from a Sun Enter Price 280R? Is it a 280R? Sunfire, sorry. Sunfire 280R. 
and I removed this from mine because I don't use any of the um, remote management uh, capabilities that it brings at least not on the 280R, I don't use them on the E250 either, I just plug a serial console into it and that's it but this is strikingly similar so we have another uh, power PC microcontroller we have our memory, we have our flash and I do believe this one actually has the Ethernet controller built in because this, this is like 3-4 years newer but yeah and this one also has let's take a look at it serial and ethernet and also ha it also has a modem port which actually the modem is usually on a PCMCIA card I guess because of localization things so you can just ship this card worldwide and you can use um, you know PCMCIA cards um, certified for different regions um, and you, it just plugs into an RJ11 right here which passes it through right there but it's strikingly similar and I don't know I just found it interesting uh, the fact that this thing and it it's not a slouch either this thing is uh, a 75 megahertz uh, CPU according to Motorola now Freescale now NXP sorry um, it can do 99 MIPS which is quite a bit of grunt uh, for you know such a puny little thing so it's interesting and you'd be I, like back in the day you'd be you'd see um, Z80 or 6502 systems just scattered throughout uh, everything like you'd see them in bigger systems, embedded systems, you'd see them everywhere now I feel like PowerPC is the thing that you find everywhere PowerPC and PowerQuick um, I've found it in routers, in modems, I've found it in all kinds of embedded stuff and of all things inside a Spark system a power PC system just just how cool is that I have entire computers entire power PC computers for example uh, my power Macintosh uh, 6166 that have less processing power than this which is an embedded system inside a proper system and I just I just found it really amusing and I made a video just because of that so yeah